Hello guys and welcome to my first YouTube video. This is gonna be intro about my channel, my experience and what we're gonna talk about in this YouTube channel. So let's get started. Um, I was born in Russia in a military family and on the age of 20 I moved to United States. I was a part of Exchange International program which is called Work and Travel USA. And this is basically a program where you are coming here for work, but just like for some shitty work where you work as a housekeeper, bartender, register, lifeguard, etc. So my employee was Hershey Park, which in Pennsylvania, awesome place to go. And I was in the food and beverage department. So I was basically making burgers, pizza, food, a whole summer. So after three months, I decided to stay in the United States of America. I will create another video where I will walk you through my pros and cons, why I made this decision, why I decided to stay here, and what I was expecting from living in America. So for my first step, I decided to move to New York City. I came here just with $700 in my pocket and I barely was spoken English. Uh, one friend of mine she was so kind and she said, Nate, you can stay for one month for free at my apartment where you can um, find some job, find some way and other stuff. So I moved to her apartment, which was in Manhattan. It was in the Hell's Kitchen. Uh, so close to Central Park, to Times Square. I was explore a lot, but I came not for tourist stuff, so I was also looking for a job and I was working on my immigration documents. But first, when you are decided to live in America, you must understand that the most important things, it's the immigration process. It's a huge, huge process where you need a bunch of documents, authorizations, license, etc. just to stay here. I know this is complicated, uh, I came here as a refugee and then I switched my status, um, but I will create a whole episode about what kind of documents you need. But for now, I'm just going to tell you that um, I was a babysitter because nobody else hired me, to be honest. <laughs> Uh, but it was a really hard job. In the meantime, I was still able to learn something, but I was understand that without education, I wouldn't claim, I wouldn't get a nice job, and I wouldn't achieve all my dreams. So I decided to try studying Columbia University. Obviously, I knew that it's going to be like fifty or $60,000 a year, and I didn't have that money. So I was Google and I found my friend and she said that 
every university, every major university in New York has ESL program, which English second language program. It can be just a couple hundred dollars or like mine was like four hundred dollars. It's over a month, but it's American teachers who can teach you all grammar, um, speaking, interacting with the people, which was really important for me and really helpful. So I attend Columbia as a ESL student for over than six or eight months. So after Columbia, I was learning code by myself. I knew that it's so many YouTube channels, it's so many certificate courses where you can get for like $10 or like $50 or you could just get the book and start to do some code and just learn basic. That's what I did. It was really hard. Nobody walked with me through the whole process. And it's been kind of challenging, but I knew that developers can be from all around the world and it doesn't matter where you're from, what kind of accent you have. If you're good at code and you will be professional in it, you will find your job. I didn't have any friends or relatives, but one friend of mine was really kind to me and she said that I can stay with her for the first month for free. So I decided to attend one of the school for a bootcamp classes or courses. So it's three or six months a certificate courses in America where you can learn code meet the right people and finally got the job after this. So for the first year, I just was really hard learning and working on my code, my practice to pass the intro exams, etc. After I passed uh, my exams, I've been so happy to work and study with all Americans. And it was really helpful for my English as well. So I attend Galvanize uh, boot camp in New York City in Soho for a six month program, which was extremely immersive, but so much fun and so much to learn. So let me tell you this, a lot of people just started, but they give up so fast. You just need to continue working and you will get to there. So after six months, I was struggling to find a job because first I'm immigrant, second, uh, it's a bunch of people who just started their career and obviously everyone wants to have someone who has 5, 10, 50 years of experience. But no worries, you will find your job, you will find your dream job. So after Galvanize, I signed up the contract with Cognizant as a full-time employee and I've been working for one of the biggest clients, it's a bank. I'm not going to tell you the name right now. You need to watch more. <laughs> Plus, it's privacy policy. So after a successful couple projects in New York, they transfer me to Houston, Texas location where I need to build a new product for this bank. I was not so happy, to be honest, but in the first place, but I found something which I never thought I'm going to find in Texas. So it was my first movement from New York after more than four and a half years of living in New York. Obviously, I travel all around New York. I went to Miami, Boston, Washington, D.C., uh, New Jersey, other states it was really cool. I will create just one or a couple videos just about my travel, but now just my experience and my life. Um, in America. So let's come back to Houston. Uh, I moved to Houston, Texas in 2019. And I was really happy with my job, but it was extremely hard for me after being in New York for that long that I haven't drive car. Uh, I didn't make any friends in Houston and it was kind of complicated. So I started again from <laughs> beginning, I was so stressful about this. I miss New York so much, but after 
some period of time, I found some really important person in my life. But this is personal. Let's move to career and experience. Um, I got my first car there, my first dream car in Texas. And after pandemic happens, COVID-19, uh, we decide to move to California. So here I'm in California right now. I'm not sure if it's the best place on the earth, but I'm going to tell you the difference between life in New York or life in California. Also, I will compare life in Texas, Houston, which awesome place, to be honest. Um, I will walk you through all my experience, how to find the job. I've been interviewing for Apple, Amazon, different companies, largest company in the world. I will, will able to tell you how to travel cheap or how to travel above the average. I will tell you how to buy a first car and what you need to expect when you are deciding to stay in America. Also, if you the person who just thinking to move to another country, you will be able to see what it can be after a couple years. Um, and now I'm so happy with my life and will be happy to help you with documents, path to choose. And I will be so happy to help you with this. I'm recording myself just to help you. I know how hard and how important to see some result of people can be. And let me tell you, it can be so hard. It's okay. After rain, it's always a rainbow. So welcome to my channel. So this is channel will be for people who really want to achieve their dreams. For the people who want to immigrate to the United States of America. Or for people who want to change job or path. What do you need to know for relocation? What kind of expenses? I created this video because I think it can be so helpful. Text me if you have any questions or give me a thumbs up. I know it's the first video. It's probably horrible or even the worst which you ever seen, but I really want to make some helpful stuff for you guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.